This is the book of 2nd Ezra's chapter 15, starting at verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai. So, prophecy is basically means to say before. Pro, before, facade to say. And it says, these words the Lord will put in our mouths to say. Because the things that are written in the scriptures are written for our learning, you know. That's how we're prophesying. Because the Bible is like no other book, you know. It's a living book because the things that are written in it come to pass, you know. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Scriptures talk about... Um, in the book of Isaiah that um, to basically that how the most high I believe that's Isaiah um, how the most high um, can't be made a liar you know and all the things that are written it, therein shall come to pass verse 3 fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity or the unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against mm -hmm. thee you know, makes me think of um, Romans 3 and 3. So what if some did not believe? You know, basically does it mean that because of their unbelief that these things won't come to pass? And so it says, nay, surely these things will come to pass. You know, <laughs> the Lord created the disbelievers for what? To be judged. Verse 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. I want to start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to call loyum la Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Racha, Kodos Bakatham. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so, no more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwath out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, subscribing to this truth to you. I say Shalom. It's Brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with no lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And basically, you know, being that we're saying things beforehand, we're telling you, you know, like um, Jeremiah 28 and 8 talks about the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied about, um, you know, the pestilence and the, and the plagues and the wars, you know. Um, and, you know, we are prophesying now about the things that the Lord is bringing to judge this world. You know, scriptures talk about in Second Ezra chapter 9, the most high visited in the world. And how is he visiting it? By these different plagues and prophecies. Verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi al Shire, bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Who's bringing the, the, the plagues? The sword, the famine, death, and destruction, because you're going to have lots of death, which we're seeing with the violence or the increase in violence. You know, scriptures talk about in the book of Genesis, um, you know, violence um, basically was throughout the earth, you know, before the flood came, and it's going to be like that before the second death. It's, you know, a lot of things basically, um, it's no new thing. You know, a lot of things go in cycles. You know, that's why we know, you know, spirits reincarnate to the third and fourth generation. You know, there's nothing really new on earth because it's the same spirits coming back doing the same things. You know, and, and that makes so much sense because when you look at like just fashion, look at some of the games. Like I've used to watch um, ancient history uh, when my dad was alive. And, um, you know the history channel rest, rather and I remember they was talking about the Mayans and like certain games they play or even like um the elder Yashawamba was going into the Egypt because I, I know he basically broke down the similarities between Egypt and America and how Egypt had beer how Egypt had basically um, exhorted the colors red white and blue how Egypt had bowling so even the games certain games are reincarnated or recycled it says you're going to bring sword, which is the modern day sword is the gun. Famine, which is a lack of food. And it doesn't mean it's no food. It's just the lack or your lack of ability to get it. You know, makes me think of that movie Snowpiercer, which I recently was watching. To show you how spiritual it is. I don't know if the AI is just listening to what we saying and putting the shit out there or we just really speaking stuff up. But <laughs> it could be both. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, uh, 
I was speaking those about that movie Snowpiercer to my Eve, and then it just so happened she found the movie, so we was watching it. And you gotta remember, they was eating poor. The people at the back of the train, they was always hungry. They was eating poor. They was eating those protein, um, roach protein bars, while the people in the front of the cars was eating great. You know, you see, you the closer you got up to the front, they was getting high all day, fucking. They was having orgies. They kicking it. You had somewhere, you know. But not to digress. Death and destruction. Verse six: For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and there were hurt, hurt, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So, um, basically, I've been going into the state of the economy because the Lord put the spirit on me too. You know, came out and found out some information about you know how these devils lie. You know, to the so much so that you know, like they talking about it's gonna be a soft landing, and you know, like the economy, the state of economy is okay, and all this shit. But then the federal the Fed that we get our, you know, <laughs> you know, that basically prints and helps print the money, you know, one of the, you know, the avenues of the elite, but they print the money, you know, they literally, they're laying off people. So that is, you know, but to show you how much witchcraft is really, you know, you know, this going throughout the planet, people will see these things and not even think nothing of it. Just drunk off the Babylon juice. So this is another indicator that the state of this economy is, is just all the way fucked up. It says um, J.P. Morgan shutters 14 First Republic banks. Much salaki. J.P. Morgan shutters 14 First Republic branches. More closures expected. It says First Republic Bank failed in April and was placed into the receivership with the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. So this bank must have failed right before... Um, the Silicon Valley one. But from what I researched, because like I said, the Lord had me in the spirit to go re like follow some of these economists or these keepers of the house. And, you know, although they, you know, I think at that time they said it was like three or four banks with that um, Silicon Valley bank. Um, when that bank failed, they said it was like three or four, but in actuality at that time it was like 722 banks. So, most of these banks are insolvent. And if you understand what that word means, it's basically they can't afford to pay their bills. And the government can't afford to really give stimulus unless the elites choose to continue to... Cause, and they can, you know, it's all the will of Yahweh Shem al -Shah. But at the same time, you're seeing how they literally, you know... To me, it looked like this thing might to, might about to happen. I mean, I know they keep on talking about, you know, 2030, but from what I hear, they was really wanting it to be 2025. Then they're unveiling robots up in New York, you know, they, you know, so for them to do that, that mean that they don't really give a fuck about the crime being rampant because, you know, they, they got technology. They could watch who did the crime and come and get you later. You know, they did that multiple times with the different riots. With the Black Lives Matter riots and protests. Well, I was say I'm calling them riots, but the protests. There were really nothing but riots, you know what I mean? To cause confusion and shit, you know what I mean? It says, J.P. Morgan, so like it, J.P. Morgan Chase has closed 14 former First Republic banks. Former First Republic bank branches in California are completing its initial plans to trim the failed bank branch, to trim the failed bank, bank's branch network after taking over in May. The offices were closed last week, according to the Office of the Comp comptroller of the currency's weekly bulletin of bank, bank branch closings and openings. Half of the locations were in San Francisco County. The remaining ones were spread across six other counties in California. And I've, I've been listening to the elder Mwatazak, um as of lately. I've been looking to him um, throughout the years, but for, for whatever reason, the Lord had the spirit on me to follow him. And he's always been a powerful speaker and he's a hell of a researcher. You know, he's bringing out a lot of powerful information. And I had the privilege of meeting that brother one time years ago. And I've been to California. You know, recently I just did a video about how they was talking about San Francisco is named crappiest city in the country. And the reason why that is is because basically they find a human feces just smeared around everywhere in the city. And that's the Lord mocking that place because, you know, that's a big place where, you know, homosexuality is pushed as a lifestyle and it's not shunned upon. So that's the Lord mocking, you know what I mean? Uh, sis, you know, uh, and he was just going into how, you know, they're allowing crime to just run rampant out there. And then he made me think, you know, certain places like New York and California, you had that movie with Kurt Russell, Escape from New York. I remember watching that as a child. Then he remade it, Escape from um, L.A. 
And he mentioned Cleveland that I will never forget that. Because that was one of the few times, you know, Cleveland has always been small, but that was few, one of the few times Cleveland got a shout out. I was like, wonder why they did that. I always had, you know, just speaking as a man, you know, you got certain cities that have a Federal Reserve Bank and Cleveland is one. Earlier this year, J.P. Morgan said that it planned to close 21 First Republic branches by the end of the year. All of those closures have now been completed, according to a source familiar with the with the matter. So with that being said, it's a little bit more in this article, but. You know, and then it's going into, you know, the Silicon Valley Bank, which was March. Oh, see, I got my dates all mixed up because the time is going about fast. In mid-March, J.P. Morgan and 10 other big banks pledged $30 billion of deposits to try to stabilize First Republic's balance sheets after the exodus of deposits. Because basically people start withdrawing their money. You had a bank run. Despite the infusions, deposits continue to exit the company. By the end of April, there were few options left to save it. So, even though they tried to save this bank by um, propping it up with deposits, it still failed. And it's going to fail. These banks are going to fail because it's prophecy for them to fail. So um, with that being mm-hmm. said, I'm going to get, and that's why I started with um, Second Ezra chapter 15. It's all prophesied because it was written to play out like this. This is the book of Genesis chapter 47 and verse 15, and it reads, and when money failed in the land of Egypt, and America is the modern day Egypt, you know, it tells you in Isaiah chapter 19, the Egyptians should fight against Egyptian. You know, you had the ancient Egyptian, and now you have the modern day Egyptian because these Edomites basically practice a lot of practices of the Egyptians too when you go into masonry, you know. You know, when you go into um, the guy, um, damn, I can't think of his name. It's on the tip of my tongue too. Um, this dude, though, um, literally um, helped start the Jehovah Witnesses. And when he, um, it was two guys, Ch- um, Ch- Charles Taz, Russell Taz. Or I think it's Russell Taz. But anyway, um, one of the guys that basically started, free, um, not Freemasonry, that started um, Jehovah Witnesses, he was a Freemason. And when you see his burial plot, he was buried in like a, a, a Egyptian tool, tomb with a, a pyramid thing. You know, showing you that this is modern day Egypt. That's why, you know, when you go into Tennessee, you got Memphis, Tennessee, and, you know, the Nile and in, 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 in Tennessee, you know, because America is really Egypt. It says, um, and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence for the money fell? Off. And we're seeing the money fail now because, you know, the inflation, you know, it costs more to buy things because the money is worth less you know you go in the book of revelation chapter six goes into that this is revelation six and six and i heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say a measure of wheat for a penny when you go in that word penny is the denarius which was um basically the day's wage for a roman soldier so it says a measure of wheat for a penny so a measure of bread for a day's wage and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and wine. So the, see not you hurt the understanding, then there's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know. But at the end of the day, America. watching the money fail right now um and that's why ultimately evil is coming when you go to the word evil eve is t- um, time ill is bad we coming into bad times because it's prophesied to this is ezekiel chapter 7 verse 1 moreover the word of the lord yahweh bashem yahushua came unto me saying also thou son of man thus saith the lord yahweh bashem yahushua power unto the land of israel so he's saying go tell his people and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land and we come into the end of this age you know this this evil this edomite this so-called white man's rulership you know now his, his plan is to basically try to do a controlled demolition for, to switch it from you know um this system to a new system where he has you know pretty much total control but the lord it tells you in the book of job is going to upset his plans you know in the sufficiency of his straits he um I, I'm, I'm butchering it but basically his, his plan is not going to come to fruition 
I gotta go get it because I butchered it. It's the book of Job. It's either, I think it's Job 5 or it's 20. I can't remember which. Okay, that's Job. But I want the other one. I think it's Job 20. This is it, Job chapter 20, verse 22, in the fullness of his sufficiency. So when this devil literally pretty much got this thing set up and he's watching it come to fruition when people are receiving the, their marks or their karagmas, you know, when this devil really think he won, that's when the Lord is going to basically bring him low. He shall be in straits. And, you know, when you go into that word straight, you know, it's a, a, a position of difficulty. You know, the scriptures talk about the deceiver and the deceiver are both his. You know, sometimes the Lord will let certain things, you know. What movie is that? It's a movie where the dude had to basically kill this flesh to be reborn. You know, I can't think of what movie it is. Um, Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And when you go into that word wicked, basically, I ain't got the blue letter, but um, when you go into the, well, I, I don't, I'm not going to look it up in the blue letter, but when you go into that word, uh, wicked it basically means laborers so who the number one with laborers you know jake you so-called black hispanics native americans cinema indians west indians and haitians tells you in the book of daniels that the saints shall take the kingdom this is back in ezekiel chapter 7 verse um 2 also thou son of man thus saith the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shall power on thus saith the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shall power unto the land of israel and in the end is come upon the four corners of the land now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. And recompense means reward. He's going to reward the abominable things you two-thirds, you, you disbelievers, have been doing. He may um, reward you by <coughs> visiting those same abominations on to you. And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. It tells you that in the book of Ezekiel chapter 9. It says, smite old and young. You know, uh, male and maid, I believe, you know, everybody that didn't have a tua. He says, and my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Verse 5, the point, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, power, and evil and only evil behold is come. So, you know, we about to come into bad times. There was a brother, um, the brother from Nebraska, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I would have to find his page, but um, he he did a video talking about prepare for hard times or something along those lines. I'm gonna try to find it real quick. So lock you. Then I'm gonna end the video. I think this is it actually. He might have did it on love. Struggle mode, massive inflation brace for even harder times. So, you know, they prepare for that. You know, they was talking about by the end of this year, a lot of people going to be losing their jobs. And, and I could see it. You know, I was I'm working at a, a temp spot and, you know, the temp agency and this company have a relationship where after the temp has did so many hours, they're supposed to get hired in. And I kind of felt some bullshit was going on through the spirit and power of Yahweh. I'm like, well, damn, you know what I mean? But I'm not really thinking nothing of it. And I just so happened the Lord put me with, you know, he put me where I'm supposed to be, you know, because if it was the other way around and there's Edomites in here and it just, it, but long story short, they wasn't trying to hire me in. And before I literally was to the point to get hired in, they was doing the same shit to another individual. But basically, this woman, she kind of spoke up a little bit, you know, because she got offended because, you know, she got a little pull here. But, you know, so that's just showing you how shrewd everybody working like they don't work. Now, I understand this much because I've worked for some years. I ain't, this ain't my first job. You know, you would think it'd be easier to just hire a new employee, but that's more expensive. So they'll be willing to pay a temp and then just at the last minute get rid of them as opposed to, you know, um, Dealing like doing dealing with a um 
you know, a new employee. But the, what the crazy part is, this is a union job. You'd have thought the union wouldn't even allow that to happen. So, you know, you know just prepare for some snake shit. You know, just watch, watch your surroundings. You know, exciting, busy. I'm watching that. I know that, you know, every once in a while, the Lord turn up fiery. But, you know, you count it all as joy, you know. And I, normally I don't do that, you know. Normally I, why, what was me, spirit, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the Lord has been with me through all them things, you know. And and and, I, and, I, and I, I've experienced a certain amount of things. But I was listening to a brother just, I forgot, I think there's the brothers in L.A., and it was a brother basically um, leading a lesson. He basically said, what's the point? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can complain, you can bitch, you know what I mean? It's the point. The Lord don't give a fuck about none of that. You know what I mean? At, at the end of the day, we know the scriptures, you know. I've watched the Lord look out and, you know, just give me this truth is, you know, you know, just a, a major blessing, you know, first and foremost, because I could be like these copper tops out here now just, Lost in the sauce. So not while, you know, I'm just rambling, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to end the lesson. Um, if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of your power, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua, you know, because times is about to get a lot of harder. And, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't really like, you know, it, it just clarified, like I said, I'm just going to say this part. It clarified why the Lord, I know for me personally, takes me through certain things, you know, you know, like, for instance, a brother might have a couple hundred dollars to save the way, and then the Lord puts you in a situation where you got to use that. So what you going to rely on, that paper money, or you going to rely on the Lord? And especially when, like I said, I know the Lord has looked out when I ain't even have a place to lay down. You know, <laughs> we read out the scripture about how, you know, it's like putting money in the bag full of hoes, you know. You know, so, I mean... At the end of the day, in this system, in this kingdom, we're not going to really, we're going to have enough to just get by. And that's, that's, I mean, that's quite all right. You know what I mean? We got the brothers, you know. <laughs> that's the spirit of light came on when I said that. So, you know, and a lot of people don't have that. But, again, Salaki for the digression. You're going to need, you know, some beyond, some money, or you, your little canned food. You know, the Lord got a way of literally doing shit. You know, you, you like, 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 uh, what movie was that? Motherfucker sitting up there had something and dropped it and dropped it in a way you ever seen somebody drop something in a way that you like how the fuck you dropped it and it dropped down into a sewer or something you know what i mean like the lord got a way of doing certain things so again if you're so-called black hispanic native american similar indian west indian or haitian i implore you to come back to the law statutes and commandments of your power whose true name in the hebrew is yahweh bashim yahushua you will be destroyed with that i want to give all praise all honor and all glory to call Elohim la yahweh bashim yahushua bashim double honors to my apostles the elders of the great millstone who teach and do rule well peace and salutations to the akim across the four corners of the earth pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever shalom to the akim and the aqua thought they're listening and learning lord willingly this is edifying shalom to the israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations subscribe to this truth to you i say shalom till next time shalom shalom and waffle up a ball shalom